We did support the built-in antioxidants in our trial, and we did this with four minerals. We supplied zinc, copper, and manganese for superoxide dismutase and selenium to support glutathione peroxidase. This way, our brain cells are protected. Now, when they looked at Alzheimer's brains on autopsy, they found that they had significant lower levels of selenium in the plasma, the erythrocytes, and nails everywhere. Why was the selenium lower? Because they used it all up and needed more and didn't get it in their diet. Now, selenium is not that easy to get in your diet. By the way, tahini or sesame seeds are a nice way to get your selenium. And while Brazil nuts are high in selenium, they may also be high in radioactive cesium and barium, so they may not be the best way to get your selenium. Zinc, by the way, was also found to be low in Alzheimer's brains. So we need to make sure we get that. Of course, these minerals are used all over the body for many functions other than the antioxidant functions. I've talked a lot about the mitochondria, the energy factories, and we need to keep them healthy. Because as you saw from the image that I showed you of the PET scan, where the glucose activity was just about nothing in the Alzheimer's brain, we need to keep that glucose activity up. So we did supply manganese, zinc, copper, and selenium in the trial. And you can get the exact amounts and forms of these minerals. The form is very important in the minerals. Some forms are more absorbable and some forms are less absorbable. You have to get the right form and dose. I took these pictures when my wife and I were sent to China. And they heard about my work with Alzheimer's disease and, and they also heard about my work with my herbal databases around the world. And they flew us to Boao, Hainan, which is near Haikuo, which is really coincidental because we live in Haiku and they flew us to Haikuo. <laughs> um, and they're building the largest medical center in the world there. And I took pictures of these hospitals. These are my photos. They're also going to have 52 hospitals when they finish this vast medical center. One of them is going to be an anti-aging hospital. So when we went there, we met with the governor of Hainan, and we were quizzed by the head of the Chinese FDA and the president of the Chinese Medical Association. They wanted to know are we going to use food, nutrients, and herbs to not only prevent disease, but also to reverse disease and treat people? And we said yes, and they were very pleased. And they credentialed us to work in the hospital, gave us five-year visas and all that stuff. So we look forward to working there. Can you imagine what the American FDA would have said to that question? <laughs> Where's the profit in that? OK. Uh, one of our interventions was blueberries. They improved memory in older adults. In this randomized placebo-controlled trial, I read many studies. Some are reviews of other studies. Some are the actual study themselves. The studies I like the best are ones like this, where they actually took people and fed some blueberries and didn't feed other people blueberries, and they saw what happened. My hobby is collecting studies. So I read several studies every day, and the really good ones I rename in a special way and save, and I just passed 9,000 studies that I've saved as being really great. This is one of them, Journal of Nutrition. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yes, I am a nerd. Uh, <laughs> in 2018, this came out in the Journal of Nutrition, and they talked about the anthocyanins. Anthocyanins move across the blood-brain barrier. They've been found in the hippocampus memory area of the brain. They prevent oxidation and inflammation in those areas of the brain. The more, the merrier. So you can protect your brain with these. Of course, they has, as I've mentioned, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory functions. They were found in many other memory areas of the brain. So eating blueberries is not a bad intervention. I do recommend only organic blueberries because they're in the top dirty dozen of foods that have been sprayed right on the surface with pesticides, and the pesticides upon washing with soap and water were not removed, according to the physician's working group who comes out with this data every year. In the nurse's health study, they found that the nurses who ate one cup of berries daily reduced their dementia by an average of two years and a maximum of two and a half years, just delayed their brain from disintegrating. 
So as I said, I put all of these different interventions together, and so can you. And you have the ability to choose. You can eat the blueberries or strawberries or red grapes. Red grapes are much cheaper and easier to eat, by the way, and they do have the anthocyanins. Or you can choose not to. This is up to you. Medical doctors tell you what to do. I'm just an educator. It's up to you to decide if you want to include berries in your diet. And, of course, I hope you do, but... Um, Thank <laughs> you.